So you can see that this is a live feed from the Canon C300 here, and it's being piped directly into Unreal Engine. That's a first for me, that's pretty cool. Hello and welcome to this virtual production vlog. Today we're gonna to be doing some live compositing in Unreal Engine. So we're gonna be taking footage from this Canon C300, bringing that into Unreal, chroma keying it hopefully, and then putting that against a CG background that's all live rendered, all real time. And the piece of hardware that allows us to do that is this right here, the Blackmagic Design Decklink 8K Pro. So I'm gonna go install this into my computer and then using SDI, I can connect this camera to the computer and we've got the footage in Unreal Engine. Now we're not gonna do this today, but this card also allows you to output footage from Unreal Engine. So say you wanted to make like a mini Mandalorian set and use a projector, use an LED wall, you need this. So this is how we get professional footage in and out of Unreal Engine, right here. Okay, so here's the card. Uh, I'll unbox it for no real reason. And it comes with a little card that says welcome. Ah, it comes with a little software and manual. Interesting. I wonder, I guess I have to plug that in. I wonder if I can just get the software online. Again, not super good at electronics, but I'll do my best. Ooh. So here's the card. Um, Pretty sure this goes in the same slot as the graphics card. Again, not a computer hardware person, really. Uh, pretty straightforward, I think, I hope. Looks like there's a little power adapter on the back. So I just plugged in the power there, had a free cord, and uh, that's my PC rig if you're interested. It's just a 2080 Ti, the deck link, some RAM, and I think we have like a 1950X. It's getting old now, gotta get a new CPU soon. Well, after an hour or two, I have the deck link installed into my PC. Went okay. You really have to like, there's like a point where like it like clicks in and I'm like, oh, but it, it worked, nothing's broken. And I went and got all my um, SDI equipment out, like all my like professional video equipment. I don't really use it that much anymore, but we have the C300 now. And if you see on the computer screen over there, we have the image up there. So I actually did plug this in. This is a SDI cable plugged into the back of the computer and uh, we have video into the computer. That's the first time I've really actually done that. So we're using just Blackmagic software, like if you were like live streaming or something like that, or like color grading footage live, that's what this is normally for. So next step is now that we have the footage in the computer, we wanna try to get it into Unreal Engine. That's the next step. I've never done that before. So a lot of new software for me, a lot of new hardware. This is all super new, but uh, I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna keep pushing on. Next step, Unreal Engine. Okay, okay, so how's the autofocus? There it goes. So it's a uh, it's been one of those days where like you know you go to do something and it doesn't work. <laughs> but uh, thank you to Andy from Epic Games and uh, all the people that have helped me. I, I reached out to a lot of different people to try to <laughs> get, fix the problem I was having. Uh, but it finally works and uh, I'll explain what the issue was. Uh, so again, our goal right is to get footage from the C300, a professional-ish, you know, video camera, through SDI, into the computer, into Unreal Engine, right? So the first step was pretty easy. I put the card in, that was fine. Connected the camera to it, that was fine too. Put it into OBS, also fine. Now, bringing it into Unreal Engine, uh, first of all, I'd never used the Blackmagic plugin before. I'd never used any of this stuff. Uh, so there was just like some general like unfamiliarity, but I got through all the tutorials, which I can link some of them below, um, both YouTube and like official ones from Unreal Engine. Uh, but it just wouldn't work, right? And if you've ever dealt with like video capture stuff before, you have to perfectly match in the software the settings that are coming out of the camera. And so it basically turns out that this uh, generation one Canon C300 from like, I don't know how long ago, like a long time ago, it does weird stuff out of the HD SDI port, right? It's uh, It was a weird camera when it first came out. It was kind of like a DSLR grown up hybrid kind of camera. Uh, so it just outputs a really weird HD SDI signal. And I read about this online uh, from other virtual production people and in general, but the camera's so old, it's like really not talked about very much. And I doubt developers at Epic Games or even like, uh, you know, Blackmagic, really consider this too much anymore, and they shouldn't because it's super old. I don't think anyone else is gonna try to do it 
with a C300. Anyway, this camera outputs something super funky. If you're trying to shoot 30p, like 2997, or 2398, 20, you know, 24, it just puts out something weird. It's not a standard HDI signal. So the only way that this camera can really work with Unreal Engine right now, unless I figure something out, is if I put it in, get ready for this, 1080i interlaced 5994, which is 60 frames per second. And I think that's like kind of how Canon do did the like 60 frames per second slow motion hack to make it work to kind of cram the data. And again, this is from a long time ago. Anyway, if I put the settings to 5994 1080i, everything works great because that is a standard video format for like, you know, I don't know what, but for some, some broadcast format. Anyway, I have seen breakdowns tutorials from other people that are using other cameras like Alexa's. You can just shoot regular 24, 2398. I'm pretty sure for all the broadcast cameras, you can shoot 2997. Uh, and they're gonna output the proper HDI, HDSDI or just, you know, SDI signal so that it works and it's like the industry standard and whatnot. It's just my weird Canon C300. It just doesn't do it right. It's kind of old. I wonder if the C500 Mark II or the newer Canon, like the C700, I assume those have more like standard HDSDI outputs. Uh, but this leaves me with uh, something new here. I need to buy a new camera for virtual production. So that's kind of fun, but also rip my budget. That sucks. I have to go buy a camera and all the stuff that comes with it. And so I think I'm going to get the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K G2, is that what they call it? Whatever that one is latest. Uh, I know someone else, I know, two or th I know two or three other people that are using that exact camera or very similar in virtual production at like an indie level, and it's working great. The colors are airy-ish, right? They're, they're close in certain cases, right? It's not, it's not the Alexa, but it, it can be kind of close looking. Uh, the price point's not bad. I think all in, it's probably like 10,000 once you get it all kitted out, that sort of stuff. And it takes EF lenses, which I'm, I'm staying EF. We're not, I'm not investing into PL lenses anytime soon. That's like 50K out of the gate plus map boxes and support and it gets expensive really quickly. Uh, so EF lenses and you know, I would assume that the Blackmagic Pro Ursa Mini, especially the new one, outputs, you know, time code 12G SDI that is compatible with the Blackmagic capture card. So there's also that, that kind of thing at play. So uh, not a lot to show today. Uh, this has been kind of just like a tech uh, thing, got some stuff installed, but I'll show you what we got done in Unreal Engine. No cool video, like mocap or virtual camera st stuff to show right now, but um, it's, a, it's a kind of a small progress vlog and I'll show you what we got done in Unreal Engine. Okay, so welcome to the chaos that's been my life for the last couple hours. Anyway, this is the Blackmagic desktop uh, video app and it basically tells you which port of the deck link you're currently using and you have to configure it correctly. It's a thing, but if you look closely, I'll zoom in. It says video input 1080i5994. Ew, but that's the input we have from the C300 and that's how I got it to work. Uh, again, for other cameras, uh, I think you can use good old 24 or 2398. We'll find out. And you'll see here that now uh, we have an image. So I'm going to hit play, jump in here, and we have just basically this little uh, 16 by 9 texture. But that texture, that is a live video feed right there. So I'm going to just park myself right here, and I'll go move the camera to prove it to you. Okay, so now things are more or less set up, and we've got this C300 here plugged in through SDI going into the deck link into the computer into Unreal Engine. And you can see now, as I move the camera, this is a live feed going into Unreal Engine. So currently it's like kind of just like a billboard in the game, so it's kind of like a live video billboard. I think in Cinetracer there's some stuff to do there, but this isn't quite the virtual production part yet, but it's part of the technical process. First, you gotta get a professional video feed into Unreal Engine. We've done that today, so I feel good about that. And uh, this isn't much of a setup here, but you can imagine uh, if it was a person, we lit it better, and then we actually keyed out the background, we could put Unreal Engine in the background and have it be live and move the camera, do the lighting in real time, you know, the whole actual virtual production part. We're gonna get to that, we're gonna get to that, but turns out it took me an entire day, an entire day to get the card in, to get it 
all working in Unreal, so that's what this demo is. Nothing crazy, so I'll just zoom around a little bit. So that'll wrap it up for this vlog. Uh, this took a lot longer than I was expecting. I mean, this stuff's like all very technical. Again, thank you to everyone that helped. Andy Epic Games, uh, the virtual production Discord channel, really helpful, thank you. And uh, next, I'm not sure what we'll be up to, but it should be fun. I'm having fun. Okay, see you guys later.